Today's video, Companion Planting Sweet Potatoes. Despite their name, sweet potatoes are not really potatoes at all, they are in fact members of the same family as morning glory and bindweed. The leaves and tubers of sweet potatoes are edible and they are relatively easy to grow. Companion planting sweet potatoes not only saves space but can also be beneficial to both plants. The following are all good companions for sweet potatoes. Many root vegetables will do well with sweet potatoes especially root vegetables that spend a long time in the ground. Beetroots have a long growing season and can remain in the soil for a long time, this makes them great companion plants for sweet potatoes. As parsnips take many months to develop, they are ideal companions for sweet potatoes. Once parsnips are established the crown becomes full of leaves and these leaves are large enough to not get crowded out by the spread of the sweet potato vine. Although not related, due to their growing season, potatoes will do well if grown with sweet potatoes. Especially main crop potatoes as they spend much longer in the ground than earlies or second earlies. Both bush beans and pole beans do well with sweet potatoes and as they mature they will help to replace the nitrogen in the soil. Pole beans can either be grown up canes, or allowed to intertwine with the sweet potato vines. Thyme is a very aromatic herb, and its presence close to sweet potatoes will help to keep pests away. Especially flea beetles which are a particular nuisance to sweet potato leaves. As a natural insect repellent, dill is a great companion plant for sweet potatoes. Dill is reported to keep many pests away including aphids and spider mites. Oregano is another aromatic herb that will not only repel pests but will also act as a mulch and also give good ground cover. In the southern USA the sweet potato weevil is a persistent pest for sweet potato growers. Summer savory has been reported to deter this pest. Not all plants grow well together. This is something that needs to be kept in mind with anything that shares the ground with sweet potatoes. Even compatible crops could potentially suffer if they are not given adequate space to grow. As sweet potato plants get really large and take up huge amounts of garden, it is wise to not grow any squash plants in the same area. Squashes also need a lot of space and if they are both vying over the same ground, neither will do very well. If you would like to download a free printable PDF guide that displays all the plants you should and should not grow with sweet potatoes, click on the link in the video description which will take you through to my blog post on companion planting sweet potatoes. You'll find the download button at the bottom of the blog post. It's completely free and well worth printing off and keeping safe for future reference. If you enjoyed this video make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.